everybody, Trevor here, and welcome to the second installment of Disney Month. And as promised, I will be talking about my top 7 Disney princesses. Why a top 7? Well, because I want to make a reference to the 7 princesses of heart from the Kingdom Hearts lore. However, for this list, I only want to include those that are part of the main lineup, so that means no Alice, Kyrie, nor Anastasia since that movie was made by Don Bluth and was distributed by Fox, not Disney. Also, keep in mind that this list is not just because of their good looks, but also for their personalities, which is the most important aspect of a Disney princess. Now with those rules out of the way, let's get this beautiful top 7 started, shall we? Coming at number 7 is Moana. When it comes to CGI animated Disney princesses, especially in the 2010s decade, I decided to choose Moana as the number 7 spot on this list because not only is she adventurous and daring, but she can be pretty funny and energetic at times, especially when she overreacts to things like what Maui did in certain scenes. Even though I like the other modern day Disney princesses as well, but for the sake of this list, I'm choosing Moana for these reasons alone. And furthermore, I think Moana is a great movie, and one of the best in the 2010s because it didn't really rely on a twist villain that much, and it had great music too. Oh, and one last thing, and this is a pet peeve of mine. WHY DO WE HAVE TO HAVE A LIVE ACTION REMAKE OF MOANA SO EARLY?! Coming at number 6 is Mulan. Mulan was one of my sister's favorite Disney movies from the 1990s, and I had to agree with her because it's full of action, fun, and excitement, unlike the 2020 remake which I didn't really like anymore. What I really like about Mulan is her heroic and tough personality. She even helped save China from the evil Huns. It just shows that girls don't always have to be damsels in distress. They can be great warriors too. But that doesn't mean everyone has to be like that. However, the reason she's so low on the list is because she's one of those Disney princesses that doesn't get that much recognition. Still, I think Mulan is a great movie regardless. And because of Mulan's strong heart and brave personality, I think she deserves to be on this list for these reasons alone. Number 5, Tiana. Tiana first appeared in the 2009 animated film, The Princess and the Frog, and was the very first black Disney princess. That's one reason why she's on here. The second reason is that she's got a likable, relatable, and smart personality, and her biggest dream was to open a restaurant for herself and her deceased dad. I especially enjoyed the character development between her and Prince Naveen when they both became frogs. Oh, and did I forget to mention that she's a great waitress and cook? I may not be good at cooking myself, but I'm very good at baking brownies. Unfortunately, I put her as number 5 because like Mulan, she's also one of those Disney princesses that's underappreciated. I mean, the Princess and the Frog movie bombed at the box office despite having beautiful 2D animation, wonderful characters, great story, and fun jazzy music. Overall, Tiana deserves more recognition than what she already got. At least she's an original Disney character, unlike those race swapped characters from the live action remakes. Number 4 is Ariel. To those of you who don't know, I put Ariel as my second favorite cartoon crush in one of my top 5 videos due to her sexiness, which I eventually put on private because I was kind of ashamed of it for obvious reasons. But for this video, I'm putting her as number 4 not only because of that, but because of her captivating singing voice as well as her overall personality, which is being disobedient to her own dad and basically wants things her way. Now, as much as I love Ariel as a character because she's beautiful and hot, but the biggest problem I have with her is her rebellious personality and the story centers around her falling in love with a human prince that she doesn't really know much about in the first place, which are not very good character traits. My point is, if you want to fall in love with someone, I suggest you date someone you actually know and care about rather than just looks. Trust me, Anna learned it the hard way in Frozen. Still, I overall enjoyed The Little Mermaid from 1989 because of the fun music, beautiful ocean atmosphere, interesting characters, and most importantly, this movie gave the Disney Renaissance era a really great start. Besides, I think Jodie Benson will always be the best Ariel. No offense to Halle Bailey. Number 3 is Snow White. Ah yes, Snow White, the very first Disney princess created by Walt Disney. She first appeared in the very first Disney full-length feature film, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, which was a huge success. 
The reason she is number three is because, like the others on this list, she's very kind and caring, especially to the seven dwarves and all her animal friends. She's basically the Disney equivalent of Fluttershy from My Little Pony French with Magic. And in my opinion, when it comes to Snow White adaptations, nothing can top how wonderful and nostalgic the original 1937 film will be. Not even that upcoming live-action remake with Rachel Zegler. Man, she's such a snob. And besides, Snow White is named that for a good reason. She's supposed to be white with black hair and red lips. That's the description of her character. You think it's a good idea to have a Hispanic like Rachel Zegler play Snow White? And judging by her real-life behavior, she should be the evil queen, not Snow White. But all in all, the original Snow White is a cute and charming Disney princess who deserves the number three spot not only for these reasons alone, but for being more fair and beautiful than Rachel Zegler. Coming at number two is Cinderella. When it comes to Disney princess movies in general, Cinderella will be my second favorite for many reasons. For one thing, Cinderella, despite being pushed around by her mean stepmother and stepsisters, is a great role model because she's very kind, helpful, caring, and dreams of going to the ball to dance, but her stepfamily wouldn't let her. So the fairy godmother decides to come and help Cinderella's dream come true by giving her a new dress and a free ride to the ball by a carriage made from a pumpkin. Also, when it comes to this movie in general, my favorite side characters are the mice like Jock and Gus, because they're cute and funny, especially when they outsmart Lucifer the cat. And because of these reasons alone, Cinderella deserves the number two spot on this list as she is my second favorite Disney princess, whether in the original cartoon or in the live action remake. Now before I get to my number one pick, here are several honorable mentions. Pocahontas. She's based on a real life person, so that's why she didn't make it. Elsa. While she does have a great singing voice, I actually find her character bland, especially in the first movie. Though it would have been more interesting if they made her the villain of the movie, just like in the original fairy tale, but that's just my opinion. Aurora. She got beat up by Cinderella because, like Elsa, she's also kind of bland in terms of her character. Jasmine. She would have been number four in terms of being hot and sexy, but still, she's a great and likable character. Rapunzel. She would have been number 7 due to her really long hair that can be used as a stairway. But I chose Moana instead because I find her more interesting. And my number 1 most favorite Disney princess of all time is... Belle. Belle is a character from the 1991 adaptation of Beauty and the Beast. By the way, this movie came out the year I was born. In this story, Belle falls in love with a ferocious beast due to his heart of gold despite being grumpy and scary looking on the outside. And after the final battle with Gaston the Beast finally turns back into a human prince due to the true love between him and Belle. Oh, and speaking of Belle, did you know that her name means beauty in French? Beauty is also her original name from the original novel, which I can totally understand why they've changed it to Belle in the Disney version. The reason she's number one is not only because of the chemistry and relationship between her and the Beast, but also because she likes to read books. Sometimes I like to read books too, but I mostly like to watch movies and shows just so I can have a visual aid. In addition, Belle and the Beast are some of my favorite cartoon couples because it's very important to fall in love with someone who's kind, caring, has a heart of gold, and not like Gaston. Besides, no one can be a big jerk like Gaston. Not that I hate Gaston to begin with, but still. Anyways, tell me your thoughts down below on which of these Disney princesses are your favorite. Do you agree with my list, or do you have your own personal preference? And if there's anything I screwed up on, or it could have elaborated on more, then let me know too. Join me next time when I'll be doing a Top 10 Disney Villains video since Halloween is coming soon. Oh, and here's hoping that Disney's Wish will do well at the box office, because I'm really excited for that to be honest with you. This is Trevor Davis, signing off.